Whether you think his eyes are shut, he knows exactly where you are. And that's part of that prayer. If his eyelids are shut and you think, Lord, you have forsaken me. You have left me. Dad used to say, <clears throat> Dad, Dad used to say, he'd say the Lord, he'd pulled his hand off of you. But at those times, when you're walking on that path and you're being hedged in, that's exactly when you think his eyelids are shut. But that's exactly when he is he is working with you, and yet you have those that they that that they bend that 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 tongue is uh, is the bow, and they are slinging the arrows, and they are only looking at the outward appearance of what is going on. They do not truly believe in the sovereign hand of an almighty God who is on the throne and who is ruling and reigning right now whether his eyes are open or those eyelids are shut. He knows exactly what's going on from, 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 from the gnat that is on the wall to some supernova that is trillions of miles away. For he has created all things, and it is for a purpose that is worthy of himself. So you must be careful of those that are crept in uh, unawares, for they will use our same language, but yet they will sling the accusations. They will come forth, for they only see and they are those ones who have not had that quickening happen within them. They have not been shown that I am a sinner, as that little, as that little publican said. <clears throat> he could not even so much as look up. He said, Lord, be merciful to me, a sinner. And that was a true prayer. That was why that was a gift given to that little public. Amen. That's what that was. Amen, brother. For it says the Lord trieth the righteous, mm -hmm. but the wicked and him that loveth violence his soul hateth. <clears throat> Upon the wicked he shall rain snares, fire and brimstone, in a horrible tempest. This shall be the portion of their cup. There is a cup. <clears throat> and the Lord knows exactly what is in that cup, for He brought that cup forward. He knows what's in that cup. Although times, our eyes, <clears throat> from outward appearance, we think, Lord, <clears throat> are you not seeing this? Oh, he sees all things. Amen. Whether he's whether the eyelids are closed or whether the eyelids are open, <coughs> he sees all things because all things are naked unto him. For him, we have to do. For the righteous Lord loveth righteousness; his countenance doth behold the upright. Go to Psalm sixty-two. <coughs> Truly my soul waiteth upon God, from him cometh, from him cometh my salvation. Amen. And that right there was <coughs> Ephesians there. He only is my rock and my salvation. That comes from within the, one of those little sick ones. He is my defense. I shall not be greatly moved. How long will you imagine my mischief against a man? Ye shall be slain, all of you, as a bowing wall, as a tottering fence. <clears throat> they think, like that rich man was talk that John was talking about, they think that 
from their righteousness. And then here was Lazarus, and like John said, he was in Abraham's bosom, and that rich man who wouldn't even so much as look at him, he wouldn't he did not even consider him. Now he was saying, reach up and just put a drop on my tongue. <clears throat> for he for 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 during his whole life that rich man was talking about the works and how he was helping God and how that he was righteous in himself and he was wanting though that to be cooled. He was and the only way that it could be cooled from where for, from where salvation and righteousness come from and that is Christ. And that's the only place. Verse 6. He only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. He says this twice. I shall not be moved. <coughs> chosen, chosen from before the foundation of this world. His chosen people. Those, those, those little sheep. Those, those, those little sheep. And we have a God who changes not. If they were chosen in Him, it cannot change. For in Hebrews 10, it says, In the volume of the book, it is written of me. <clears throat> that volume, that's a book that cannot be erased. He's not erasing names, and He's not adding names. <clears throat> and, that's how, and that's why it says, I shall not be moved. In God is my salvation and my glory, the rock of my strength, and my refuge in God. Trust in Him at all times. Pour out your heart before Him, and God is a refuge for us. And you go to Ephesians 1, and I'll tell you exactly who that us is. <coughs> It's a short little psalm, and there was, <clears throat> but it's pointing to, it's pointing to those that are whole, rich within themselves, <clears throat> bending the tongue and slinging the arrows from what they see from outward appearance, but that little, but that little lamb. <clears throat> David said, I am a sinner. He didn't blame it on anybody. He said, I am a sinner. <clears throat> but Nathan said, the God that we believe in, the sovereign God, he has set it aside. He said, your iniquities I will remember no more. Malachi Malachi 3 6. For I am the Lord, I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. Do you want to talk about the amazing grace of an Almighty God? <clears throat> Go to Psalms 130 and 3. If thou, Lord, shouldest mark iniquities, O Lord, who shall stand? <clears throat> but because of that amazing grace, and because He changes not, the very doctrine of the Armenian says that we worship a God who changes. And, and, and if He changes, that's, that's like He has ordained all things. Where did sin come from? If it did not come from God, then that means it must have come from somewhere else. And that, and that means that we have a God and we have an entity, an, 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 an entity over here 
that 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 created something and God did ha had nothing to do with it. We worship a sovereign God who brought about all things. He is a God that changes not, for if he changed, then then the sons of Jacob could be consumed. But he says, your iniquities I will remember no more. Because he is a God that changes not. That makes him a sovereign God over all things. Whether his eyes are open or whether he has winked, he knows exactly where you are. He knows the exact place where you are walking, where he has directed your path. You haven't veered one inch off of exactly where you are. Amen.